Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and today we're going to do a what's in the box of Combat Volume 2 an expansion for combat game designed by Ron Mortel developers Adam Starkweather, Stephen Fliss and graphic artist Nadir Elfar and published by Compass Games. This is Volume 2, okay, and it is an expansion for Volume 1, so you must own Volume 1 to be able to play Volume 2. And it says just that right here on the box. Combat Volume 2 is an add-on module. You must own Combat in order to play. There's 12 new standalone scenarios and a full campaign game. An elite enemies in the form of the SS. A third US squad and command elements enabling platoon actions with multiple players. New weapons such as the SDG-44, the Thompson submachine gun and the M2 heavy machine gun and the Springfield M1903. We'll have weather variations for rain, snow, mist, as well as ground conditions like mud or snow, fire, now artillery and grenades can start fires, trained medics, unarmed but efficient, vehicles, the Panzer Kampfwagen 4H, the M4A3 Sherman, the M3A1 half track and trucks, and light anti tank weapons such as the Bazooka and Panzerfaust. And the campaign game allows you to follow the fortunes of your squad from D Day to VE Day through six campaign chapters. All right. So, a lot in this, I do believe. It's a fairly hefty box, um, nice size. So let's get the shrink wrap off and see what's in it. Okay. Let's open this up. And the first thing we see is the wrapped manuals. So we'll uh, break this. And the first thing is Combat Volume 2 rules of play so these would be our table of contents um, introduction to combat 2 so these rules are 24 pages not too bad new terrain new weapons new characters weather and ground conditions fire trained medics, vehicles, so we're going to have some fun with that I hope. Lots of examples just like uh, the original, so quite a bit in here. A little reading to do before we hit the table. And then we have a booklet of scenarios and this comes in at 28 pages and so we start um, random events and attacking events and defending events so these are all part of the games then scenario 11 payback time so this picks up the other game ended with scenario 10 this picks up with scenario 11 and scenario 12, 13, and it goes on. Scenario 19, oh man, and scenario 22. So 11 to 22. So that's the scenarios. Then we have <clears throat> this is a what do we got here? A new spotting chart, blocking terrain notes, range modifiers, and then this has our um, armored fighting vehicle line of sight display, 
hatch open, hatch closed, and the order train chart. And a new patrol display with patrol times on there. So this is a little different having the patrol. Patrol victory points. <clears throat> and then we have our oops. We actually have a, a vehicle card for the Panzer 4H. So you can see the detail. Weapons that it has, the machine gun, the main gun damage that it takes so that's neat and our armored fighting vehicle this is a two-sided so hit locations so how to determine I'm assuming from where you're shooting um, what the hits are going to be and also the damage table all right vehicle order matrix side A and side B Another Panzer 4H card. A uh, weapon characteristics uh, manual supplement. So this shows the new weapons that are in the game. And indirect fire versus tanks and indirect fire versus half tracks, trucks, and jeeps. Okay. Truck hit locations, truck damage, so a lot going on with these vehicles now. Half tracks, same thing. Here's a truck, two and a half ton, six by six GMC. Passengers that can be in it. And the Opal Blitz, crew passenger positions for the Germans. And here's the M3A1 half track. And it can have an M2 50 caliber machine gun mounted. <clears throat> Another Opal Blitz vehicle B. A truck quarter ton 4x4. Four four. So there's our US Jeep. Again, you can get machine guns mounted on it. And the M4A3, there's two of these, A and vehicle B, one-sided. Crew positions in your guns. Another Opal Blitz positions. So a lot of stuff there. Then we have Combat, and it, Volume 2, American, 1944-45, European Theater Campaign Game Scenarios. So these are for the campaign games. Uh, this comes in at 32 pages. So this is playing your playing the campaign. That's awesome. And American 1944 campaign game rules of play. So we have specific rules for the campaign game. And this one comes in at 48 pages. So we got a lot of data, a lot of data in here for the different campaigns where they're at. All right, so that's going to be fun. Run a campaign. This is our campaign calendar. It's a tablet, um, several sheets there. Keep track of things. And a second tablet with... Um, Looks like probably our squad or platoon, probably our squad rosters. I'm assuming these are all going to be for the campaign game, for setting up your campaign weapons, skills. Here's the maps. We'll get to them in a second. And then the counters, which is very cool. They're wrapped so that if they do punch out, you don't lose them anywhere. As you can see, I got a. You can see right there, I pushed on it, just pops right up. So they're going to pop out really easy. Um, that's different from the uh, volume one. Um, the game I had was very hard to separate these. So I'm hoping that these are going to come apart a whole lot better. But you can see these are um, combat sheet two, 
number seven, there's um, three, three sheets of counters in here uh, for these. Here's some more of our soldiers. And in here, there must be four in this one, looks like. But you can see there's the uh, U.S., so another squad. And then your gunners and loaders and your vehicles. And then the back sides for the Germans. And then we got morale, some of our movement things, and the weather, night, mud, deep snow, heavy rain. So we got a lot going on in this one. This is this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, let's move this out of the way. Let's take a look at a couple of these maps. We have um, map number five. And these are, these are a big footprint. So, just like they were in the original game. But you know what? I don't mind it because, well one, I got plexiglass, but hexes are big and the counters are big and for an old guy like me, it's handy. Um, this is called, this one's called the woods. So you can see uh, we got a little pond in here. Some terrain, some hills. Uh, looks like they put some markings around here now to help with uh, where the ridge lines are at, so that's nice. Uh, same thing um, down here. We'll have to get into some of these. We'll zoom in on this one a little bit, give you a kind of a look, but you can see that one's got a line all the way around the hill, so you can tell. This is a ridge right here, so you can see where that's at. And then there's the another one back here. So really nice looking maps again. Um, like the like the looks of these. They really do a good job with these maps, I think. Um, that was the woods. Here we have the town. Whew, this is going to be brutal, fighting in this town. So, uh, you can see um, you got roads in here, dirt road, paved roads. Um, looks like a fountain down in here, in the center of the, in the square maybe. Another one over here. Lots of buildings, lots and lots of buildings. So this is truly going to be a city fight. This should be interesting. Then we have the Abbey. Okay. So for the Abbey, of course, you can see there it is. There's the Abbey, the church. So it's got a little courtyard in it. And then um, a lot of um, fields and not much building so this one's going to be pretty open I'm sure so I'm sure the Germans are going to be occupying the Abbey and I'm going to have to figure out how to dislodge them but <laughs> without looking at the video without looking at the um, scenarios I can't imagine it wouldn't be something like that okay That was the Abbey. Here is map number eight. This is the Hamlet. All right. So this is a small little village. Um, you can see. Let me zoom in here a little bit. You can see the uh, small downs. <coughs> Excuse me little buildings around lots of trees and and goodies there so uh, yeah this will this will be an interesting map um, to fight on we have map 9 this is called Hedgerows 2 
Oh yeah. This will be coming off of the beaches into the hedgerows. This was tough fighting during World War II. Um, you can see why. You're not going to have much line of sight, so everything's got to be, you're going to be close every time you're getting into a battle on this deal. So, yeah, this will be, this will be tough fighting here. So I'm interested to see how this goes, because like I said, it's all hedges, fields, yeah, and trees scattered around. It's going to make line of sight really hard um, to get, so you're going to have to get right up on a, right up on your enemy on this one. And one more is map 10, the ridge. Trying to be careful here with the fold. Here we go. Woo. This is interesting. This is a big, long, raised ridge up in here. You got another one over here. So that's an interesting map. Very interesting. All right. So this is going to be cool. Very awesome. Get my map folded back up. All right, so we had maps um, five, it was five, right? Yep, five through 10. And then our counters. And then the rule books and the pads and all the good stuff that goes with it. So we got lots of stuff here to get ready, do some reading and get ready for this uh, Combat Volume 2. I'm really excited about it. I've known it was coming out for a while and this copy arrived and so I wanted to get it out, show you what's in it and then I'll do some reading and we'll start working on getting it ready to get it to the table and see how it plays. And hopefully you'll, you'll get as much, hopefully you'll enjoy watching the videos as much as I will playing it. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to have as much fun as I will playing it. <laughs> But hopefully it'll, it'll be fun um, when we get the game going. Okay, so combat, volume two. Remember, it's an expansion for the original combat game, which was volume one. You must own combat volume one to play this one. Okay. All right. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And we'll get ready to get it on the table. Alright guys, see you later.